Now we'll talk about the molecular file formats. Till this point, we've been talking about the nucleotide file formats. Okay. Uh, so nucleotide file formats also known as a sequence file. So sequence file formats are discussed. Either it can be nucleotide or it can be protein. Doesn't matter because Swiss plot, Inu plot was a protein format. But molecular file formats are mostly related to the protein file format. Basically, the data that we obtain from X-ray crystallography, NMR spectroscopy, to have a 3D structure of a protein, that data is received. That data is feeded to the molecule uh, to the database. Basically, the protein data bank PDB. We feed the data. to the protein data bank and in the protein data bank we use molecular file format basically the pdb format mmcif format charm format mdl format mopac format these are the five different formats so pdb format what it contains pdb format is the one that we will deal with for 3d modeling so pdb format they have a title section contains information regarding the record identification of the macromolecule the source organism name of the chemical compound related experiments that are done everything is there here in the title the second is a remark section a remark section in the remark section experimental details and publication related to the nomenclature is provided then we have primary structure section primary structure section information regarding residues of each chain of macromolecules are obtained then we have heterogen section heterogen section complete description of non standard residues is present then we have secondary structure section secondary structure section so it has helix sheets turns all this information are present here and then what we have we have connectivity section also very important because without connectivity we cannot comment on the architecture of the protein it's very important to know connectivity to understand the domain and architecture of the protein and that we can do with the connectivity section okay so allow the information about the different kinds of linkages that are present between the secondary structures it can be the disulfide linkage it can be uh, like electrostatic interactions all this okay and at the end we have miscellaneous section as well miscellaneous section information regarding you know groups that uh, are present in different active sites if it's an enzyme if there's a cofactor if there's an anti codon regulatory sections all these things informations are already mentioned there okay and ultimately at the end we have the crystallographic and coordinate transformation section where we have information of space group and it is very important to understand the space group which is a concept used in x-ray crystallography where because in x-ray crystallography uh, let's say if this is a complete protein we actually see this protein from different angles so different space group is taken one space group has a particular structure so from different angles different space group data is combined to get a complete big picture of the protein structure that we get okay that we get from here so apart from that what else we have we have this molecular crystallographic information file mmcif 